This is an instructional video to demonstrate how to install CrackSpan, the new permanent crack repair system. The first step is to clean an area uh, approximately five feet on either side of your crack uh, using a broom or a blower. Once the work area has been cleaned, fill your crack with latex cement patching compound using your normal crack filling techniques. We're using a handy little V-shaped squeegee to fill this fairly narrow crack, but you can use whatever you're comfortable with, a trowel, a flexible knife, even a flat squeegee. Whatever you normally fill cracks with will work just fine. As long as when you're finished, your crack is scraped smooth to the surface uh, and there are no edges on your patch. After your crack patch is dry, it's time to apply your first layer of soft coat. We recommend using a 3 inch paint roller to paint a strip approximately 8 inches wide uh, in very liberal quantity uh, centered directly over the crack. And that will give you approximately 4 inches of soft coat on either side of the crack. Once your first layer of soft coat is dry, apply one more coat over the same area. This soft coat forms a non-adhering layer, uh, which will allow the crack span membrane to stretch and contract as it absorbs uh, the minute amount of movement of the crack over an 8 inch wide area of the membrane. Keep in mind as you apply the soft coat you cannot put it on too thick uh, but you can put it on too thin so apply liberal amounts on both coats. Once the second layer of soft coat is dry, it's time to uh, adhere the crack span fabric to the court surface. Uh, and you do this by applying a good heavy layer of the bond coat to the surface well out beyond where the edges of the uh, fabric will lay. Now he's going to apply this bond coat to three sides the end where he gets started and of course the two sides and you notice he's laid the fabric down at the end so that he can get a good gauge of how wide he needs to spread that out 
Also, he does not apply the bond coat in the area where the soft coat uh, has been placed. Next, he will place the crack span fabric in uh, the bond coat material and line the fabric up with the direction of the crack. Once the fabric is aligned properly, he'll then brush another heavy coat on top of the fabric to be sure the membrane's completely saturated with the bond coat. This process is repeated over and over until you reach the end of the crack. Periodically in the process, you want to make some long strokes parallel to the fabric to take out any drips or ridges in the bond coat. You'll also find most cracks require a few turns uh, in the fabric. To accomplish this, cut the fabric, make sure there's plenty of bond coat under that cut piece of fabric all the way to the edge. Place plenty of bond coat under that piece of fabric and on top. Uh, once that's done, you'll brush the fabric down nice and smooth and then apply more bond coat down either side of that center strip of soft coat. Once the bond coat is down, place the roll so that the edge of the new fabric overlaps the existing just placed fabric by at least three to four inches. Align it with the crack and roll it out.
saturate the fabric with bond coat just as you've done before. As you get to the end of your crack, just as you did at the beginning, you will brush the bond coat on both sides of the soft coat and at the end so that as you roll your fabric out, you can roll it into the bond coat at the end and cut the fabric with your scissors. You'll notice our applicators getting a little bond coat into the soft coat and that won't hurt a thing. As a rule, we try to stay out of the soft coat with our bond coat as much as possible, but that soft coat will not allow the fabric uh, to adhere to the surface. Once you've reached the end, cut the fabric so that it's well within the bond coat on the court. Straighten the fabric and saturate the top with more bond coat. After the bond coat is dry, apply a latex cement patch parallel to the direction of the crack span to hide the edges of the fabric. Our applicator likes to place a fine mist of water over his patch and then he'll go over it one more time and this helps smooth it out and it feathers the edges in to the court. We also have a number of applicators who prefer to use one to two coats of heavy acrylic resurfacer instead of the acrylic cement patch. Whichever you prefer, this is the final stage of the crack span system. Uh, once this is dry, you're ready to apply the color coatings. Thank you for watching our video. Please call if you'd like to place an order or if we can be of further assistance.